Hello guys, uh, what is up? It is me, Rahul, here. Yes, the long-awaited video of the AFL hypothetical video game. Not other than that, it's the Arena Football League hypothetical video game. This is going to be a review, um, or a review slash thinking of ideas. I'm willing to share this video to um, to you guys if you guys want to pitch in in the comment section below about certain video idea, uh, certain ideas that you guys um, want to work on, like bring this to light, give it to the EA Game Changers. Um, you could tweet this, you can post this on your Instagram, uh, do whatever you want. Um, so yeah, let's do this. Um, I'm gonna go point by point here. Um, I may add some things later in a video, like a part two, um, to this because there's so much I would want for a, for a video game like this. So let's start for franchise mode. Franchise mode is one of those things where you need to have in a video game. Now, ah. <laughs> uh, Ah, alright, so regular season games, obviously, you get change them up based upon the number of teams you have. The most the Arena Football League ever had was 19, which is an odd number. Uh, and when it folded, it had 6. It started with 4, and then it ended with 6, so you could see how popularity was. Arena football, aka indoor American football, is not really popular towards American football and Canadian football. It's like American football is first, Canadian football is second, and arena football is third. So keep that in mind. Um, I have wanted to see a neutral side game because, like, in Arena Bowl, which is the championship of the Arena Football League, it always has had. Mm, I don't know how to put this. It's always had neutral side games from time to time. However, if we put this in a stadium perspective or a different location that's in the U.S., then it would make sense. International games, so like in London, Germany, Poland, Brazil, you could put a game right there. It could be in good freaking use. Off season expansion draft. If you wanted to do an expansion team dispersal draft, this has happened in the a a Arena Football League, so that's kind of uh, sick. It's kind of sad. International draft. This is what the C uh, Canadian Football League is doing, and now the Major League uh, Major League Baseball is doing the MLB. So there you go. Rule changes. The ability to make rule changes. Every single rule from the Arena Football League. Madden uh, doesn't really do this. Certain video games that are like sports simulated don't really do this. Um, I, I would go with a deep dive for Madden. However, that's going to be a... That's going to be like in a separate video. So... Um, for agency, being able to sign guys, trades, that's self-explanatory, draft class imports, now I forgot to add, like, draft class sharing, roster sharing, I will put that in, playoff formats, one game playoff, one game playoff games, okay, that's not English, it is because in the MLB, it would it, you could do a series, or you could tie for division, or tie for a conference, uh, a wild card spot, something like that, or even something else. You never know. Number of teams. This kind kind of ties in with one game playoffs. Um, yeah, All Star Game. Definitely, I've never seen this happen. Um, 
yeah, uh, exhibition mode, you know how that is, using two teams, playing against each other, you know what to do. Online mode, ranked, friends, offline, those would be spectacular. Um, ultimate team, now, I know this is gonna sound odd to you guys, and if anybody is thinking like, oh, ultimate team, you're gonna buy, <laughs> you're gonna use your in real life money to buy points, to buy packs. No, so let me just go buy this real quick. Matchmaking based on skill, rank, and overall. That's really key, um, in my opinion at least. Draft champions, so some similar to Madden. Um, real life money will not be used to buy virtual currency to buy packs. Virtual currency will be earned in game. So. Depending on how much you play in the game, how much how much time you've devoted yourself to the game, you will earn virtual currency for your ultimate team to buy packs. And the packs will be really cheap. I'll, I want you to keep that in mind. Solo challenges will give you good players, good packs. Now on to career mode. Career mode. Backstory, you can choose any college you want. Um, so like a backstory, like getting drafted, um, getting into the league, being a Hall of Famer, those things. That's like the epilogue. Online interaction, so something similar to 2K. Um, be any position. This is not what, Maddie used to have this, but after a certain period of time, they literally got rid of this, so you could be a, a kicker, you could be a punter, you could be an offensive tackle, a long snapper even, <laughs> I think. So, that's another thing. A good offseason. Um, that means being able to um, have fun, basically. Uh do workouts, do all of that. You couldn't do that during the season. However, I wanted to put this as an evidence in the off season. Gameplay. This is where I really want Madden to use this at some point. Use ESPN, Fox, NBC, ABC, and other broadcast networks. So like Twitch, Amazon. This is where I think it would be very crucial because... Arena Foot the Arena Football League used to have NBC ESPN and I forgot to add CBS, however, that's like CBS is used heavily, so and ESPN is like working its way up. Fox is like getting there. NBC is used by Notre Dame. Um and ABC is used by NBA uh the NBA for its game, so yeah, that's one thing. Um, so yeah, use real arena football re rules. So this is applied to franchise mode. This also applies to ultimate team and any other like mode above. Um, Euphoria engine. Now, this is an engine that I heard about through another YouTuber. His name is Softdrink TV. I'll leave his channel down below uh in the description so you guys can check him out he does retrospectives reviews on certain video games that he deems enjoyable to himself um basically the euphoria engine is like a physics based engine where no two tackles are the same so it's kind of like the ignite engine in Madden 25, 15, 16, where no two tackles are the same, it's unique and simple. Yes. <laughs> yes, uh, i sorry, yeah. Now, the company making the game. No exclusive license, it will be an open competition. 2K, EA, because EA has made two arena football League video games, Arena Football, Arena Football World Glory, and Sony Entertainment because it makes 
uh, and will be to show video games. <sighs> I did forget to add like Hall of Fame and everything, although I want to get the main points out and I again I'm willing to share you with you guys um uh, on certain video games and stuff like uh, on cert if if you want to help me with this on giving really good ideas on how to improve like a video game let me know down in the comment section below if you want to uh, personally want this video to give uh, help me with ideas this, that's okay um you guys really mean a lot to me with with like making videos like this it really does mean a lot to me um, I will make a part two to this if, if there's significance, um, I actually have, I will say this, I have been emailing certain cities to bring back Arena Football League, um, game, uh, games, uh, teams, and if I show this video, then it may work out, uh, or not, <laughs> so... The best part about this is, is that I will be, there can be a part two, a part three, we can keep on, we, we, as a whole, can keep on adding to this, I can keep on changing it up, or, <laughs> I could do a separate video with a similar concept, and that would be Canadian football, a, a, a CFL hypothetical video game. That would be very interesting, considering there's not a real, like, major sport, uh, video game company that is going to maybe look at the CFL, excuse me, think, I want to make a CFL video game. 2K could make it. 2K could make it. And it can because it has all the, uh, every single sports video game, uh, every single video game company could make a really good video game based on like resources and everything. The CFL, if it doesn't give an exclusive license, can have very good money on its hands, and it can work. Arena football. It might, it might work. However, I have to explain this. The Arena Football League is own has every single logo, uh, not every single logo, certain logo. I think two or three are owned by an owner. Um, uh, of different owners, I can't remember. However, all the history. All the logos, all the names are owned by the AF, uh, AFL. And when it uh, shut down, the company owns it, essentially. And basically, if there was a video game that happened like this, if we spread this around, give awareness, it actually can work. And if there's a month, in, in month enough money generated... Uh, within the first year with marketing from, like, YouTubers, EA, I'm gonna say it, EA Game Changers, uh, anybody who's interested in a different video game, you know what, I think it can make good money to fund the league in order to be successful, because other arena football leagues, that's like the indoor football league, the arena, uh, national arena league, they don't have video games. They don't have video games. And, like I said, Arena Football is not as popular during its prime when it had its own developmental league. Now, I won't say for this video game. However, if it ever happened, if this, vi if this video could go viral, which I highly doubt it would... That would be a success. That would be an insane success. And we did it. We would do it. We would make an amazing video game. <laughs> so I gotta say, um, next video, uh, for this part, this video, 
there is going to be a part two, part three. Just give me your ideas uh, down in the comment section below. Or if I share it with you, just uh, sh uh, just um, let me know in a message uh, and I will take your advice and give it to you. Uh, I will make it in a document. We'll do a part two, maybe a part three. Uh, the next concept I'm going to be doing with this uh, this video is going to be the CFL, the Canadian Football League. I'm going to have to state this right here. I don't, I've researched the Canadian Football League. However, I'm more an NFL guy than a Canadian Football League guy. I'm going to have to admit this. Sorry, CFL fans. How, uh, at the end of the day, um, I'm willing to do that type of video. I have said it to my fans. I will do it, and yeah, so, <laughs> thank you guys for sticking uh, around for the video, it really does mean a lot to me, this video is, like, one of my kinds of, this is like a different concept of a video, I'm willing to try out different content than video game content, that's my thing, um, for the Arena Football League to come back, if I send out letters, if I tell them about a video that I made and I share it to them and it works, then man, oh man, I could do a big change in the landscape of sports and we could bring it back to Arena Football League a third time and we could stick it's we could stick the league into the ground and we can make it last long just like the nfl just like the cfl so hey if you want to help me out help me out by just giving out ideas spreading the message to other youtubers that you know um yeah um i'm willing to do this video I, I take that, that's not English, I did this video, and I hope you guys understand that I am very dedicated to a league that needs some juice, that needs some love, that needs some resurgence into the mainstream media. And hey, if you want rebound nets, if you want one-handed catches, if you want drop kick field goals that are worth four points, hey, I'm down for that in a video game made by any company, really. And to fund the league that needs juice. <laughs> ah, and hey, this league pioneered the uh, and pioneered and founded arena football and since the league folded i am willing to do a video uh, how many videos i need to do to bring this league back into into like into our faces and we can go to a game and hey it may work out you never know um I know my energy is, like, kind of high. It's because I'm excited for this kind of stuff. It, it makes me, like, happy that I'm talking about this. Yeah, so, it makes sense, I guess. However, um, I guess it's, like, awkward <laughs> in a way because it's, like, oh, my God, what is this guy? talking about our hey i'm gonna be doing a cfl hypothetical video game next and i am gonna be doing a part two to this uh video that you're watching and maybe a part three part four you never know um yeah guys um thank you all so much for watching um, <laughs> y'all are legends in my book, as well as for me, I 
we'll see y'all in the next one, and peace.